Hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Star Wars 2024 review, and this one's on the uh, Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack that is uh, that is now being released. But yeah, so on the front of the box here we have the LEGO Star Wars logos and the yellow strip border that we see with most Clone Clone Wars sets at for, as of now, and of course, or been seen since last year. Yeah. And also a picture of a big battle of everything going on on Christophysis, and also Choking Hazard, all the mini figs included, and also age recommendation is 7 and up, set number 75372, has 215 pieces. And also, as for this box size, I say a little bit more uh, compact, a little more comp compact, not as large as like the uh, Dark Troopers uh, encounter set slash battle pack, and the original 501st battle pack uh, which so of course saves a little bit of space on the shelf but yeah and there's the nice artwork of the dry droid of course and highlighting the new battle droids of course or super battle droids of course and on the back side have a resting position of everything again and battle again and a couple of the features of it and uh, the logos set number again and yeah And now onto the manuals, which you get two of in this set. One just for the tri droid and one for everything else. But and also has the kind kind of odd renderings like we've been seeing since mid twenty twenty two. And then transition from plastic base to paper bags and add for the builder app on the back. Because it does add for rebuild world. And then the final building steps for that. And the other which, which is just for the tri droid. On the back side is how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, of course. And for the two uh, for two for this and other set for this wave, of course, and last building steps. Now, on to the figs. So, first up, we would have the all new phase, regular phase two clone trooper. Which you get not one, not two, but three of in this set. So of course this was great to have here. And of course, which we haven't seen since like 2014, since then. And since at that point it came in just a microfighter and an advent calendar, and that's about it. But however, having it here, great to see. And however, all the printings of the helmet of which done really good. And of course, the helmet ports, or hold slash ports. Which is a common thing, but I'm willing to deal with it, but yeah. But however, the torso print, leg printing, all looks really good for how it is. And of course, well capturing their usual appearances then. And underneath is the traditional clone face, which we have been seeing since the 501st Troopers in 2020. But good to see that, not the one from 2013, but yeah. And then next to which we have uh, the uh, course on guards uh, shock trooper, which just the same that came in the uh, course on guard gunship last year. But yeah, and then have a traditional B1 battle droid, uh, which same as they've always been since 1999, and straight arm since 2007. So not at all any change here. But yeah, and then the main highlight is also what so. And also the new Super Battle Droid, which you get three of in this set. And, however, good to have in this set. And also great to see return, which we haven't seen since 2015. But, however, as for the arm pieces and leg piece, which looks quite the same, quite similar to what there was before. But, however, the main torso piece, all of which all quite new and different sculpt to that. And like, and if compared to the uh, earlier uh, Super Battle Droid, which 
has been around since tw since 2002 until 2015, of course. Which, as you can see, that the headpiece is a little more slimmer, and also the grooves on the chest a little farther upwards, and or I mean, just more uh, embossed. Than, and of course, a tiny little dent in the corner, which is most likely to represent an indicator light on that. And of course, the original Super Battle Droids is that the main problem was that the joints kind of break off too easily, but with the, these newer ones, I think they might have fixed that, I'm not sure, but you'll just have to experience it in person to find out, and then tell in the comment, tell me in the comments about that. Because yeah. from my point of view, I think it is kind of sturdy enough, but yeah. And then to the back side of all the figs of which, which, as you can see, this one, which the bow droid here does have a little clip for a blaster there, but in light like, gray instead of in tan. Not sure why in tan, but however, for both troopers, which torso printings all look the same for that, but minus the red on the Coruscant trooper. But however, it's still quite good for how it is. And as for the new super battle droid, which the uh, back sculpting also done kind of differently. But at least not as much spacious as the original ones, since since of course have other indentations and now being a lot less as much gappy as that, of which nice to see there. And however, for this selection as a whole, of which great to have all together in a single set, and of course great for army building, which a battle pack should be for. But yeah. And then first off for the builds is this little crate kind of thing. Kind of a traditional one with a jumper tile on it. And you can like pull that open and get a pair of thermal detonators in there. Nice to see. And then next to which is this little turret kind of, or sentry kind of part. As you see, quite simple and simplistic. Put that in. Although for the builds of which comes has all resting on a wedge plate and a rounded plate on there and going up into a jagged slope here, which we barely see much nowadays, but kinda nice to see here. And also do get the uh, first order stormtrooper shield pieces, but in light gray, oh which good to use as for something outside the first order and anything else, but yeah. And of course, clipped onto a few uh, clip plates on there, and resting on a little jumper plate with a, a stunt shooter on top, which fires off like so. And of course, all the way I wish it could have had is maybe an extra plate on the back to stand your clone trooper onto it, but instead, nothing at all. So has nothing to stick onto and stand on there. Unless if you were to use this in a mock or whatever. And that's about it there. And on to the uh, little speeder bike or bark speeder, whatever you can call it. Which, as I say, both this and the turn, well, both of these builds, of which good callback to the very original clone battle pack from 2007. But at least. But of course, now in modern day, like those standards. And, but yeah. and also, what the original didn't was a couple of stud shooters on the sides to add a bit of extra playability to it. Oh, whoops. Yes, there we go. And how So, like, as for this front part, the front part of it, which is done with a couple long lightsaber bar pieces and uh, street sign pieces, and, and ending off with candlesticks for there, represent other blasters on. And then further up, have this uh, little car hood kind of piece on there, and a pair of handlebars then. And as you already saw, the stud shooters down there, and although still wish there could be some, like, rounded plate pieces underneath to make it hover around a smooth surface. But then on to the 
that main part of which, which has this little bit here and also uh, two areas of four studs enough to sit a thing or two troopers on it. it like we got just like the original 2007 one of course then the back side which, and also a couple other sets as well but yeah and also have these uh, little clip pieces holding the blasters on them yeah well blasters actually can also take off and have the troopers hold as well but yeah so at least good to see there but yeah and now, next to which, is a stamp. Which, as you can see, almost kind of similar to the most earlier stamps. Yes, but, of course, now in, in a mix of dark blue and light, dark, or sorry, of darkish gray and light gray, and a little black there. And as you can see, it's like standing on a clear... A uh, hinge rod on a clear dish to give it the effect of flying, as obviously. And then also we have a couple of megaphone pieces to be the uh, uh, engines to make it fly around the course. And also this backside. I kind of wish there would be a little. Uh, what's it called? A uh, bracket and jumper that can be on there to stand a battle droid onto it, but that's what's me. And then do you have this, goes out to this little uh, hinge part with this other part that holds this uh, hood piece and also a couple of, and also this bar piece with a couple of lightsaber hilts acting as the blasters, of course. And of course, and and obviously, if you have battle droid with, uh, with two regular arms, let them hang on to that. And also, still wish there could be a bracket on there for them to stand on, since all since obviously, it like this just looks kind of awkward, kind of weird, like he's just hanging on to, for his life or whatever. But however, the staff here kind of good callback to the original Battle Droid Battle Pack from like 2007 uh, as well, but although in dark blue from Clone Wars, but yeah. And that's about it with that part. And then last of which is the large tri droid. Which as you can see, quite interesting, neat build to that. And of course major highlight over the or major upgrade from like the original 2007 or 2014 versions of it even though the one from the unit power troopers battle pack from them and of course this looks like completely symmetrical and in three ways since as a symmetry freak i quite adore that but yeah. so like as for these legs here i was kind of simply but at least i do have some bit of some good bits to them like the these foot part comprised with a slope and plates going up to a hinge which and of course representing as a traditional foot there and then have the uh, jointed and a uh, kind of brick here and with also with, with a curved slope above and a grill piece in dark blue so and of course good to have some dark blue here nice which is making it quite different than the one from in 2014, of course. And also you get some more curved plate or curved slopes around here and with a couple of hinges upwards and and also underneath the which is a little dish piece with a clear flat stud on there for some reason. And then, then in the center part, do you have uh, three foot fire missiles. Kind of interesting to see return here, even though they were used throughout the early, late 2000s, early 10s in Star Wars, but and of course, mid 10s when we were introduced to uh, stud, foot fire missiles and stud shooters. Well, you know, end of thought that they, they kind of took the place of foot fire missiles, but however, in this case, even though they stuck around on most micro fighters, but, and of course, the foot bomb is like that. 
you know, so well, it kind of works out, but of course, nice and spacious to do so, unlike the original 2014 version, they're like more close to there, which is nice to see. You have the Technic bits in the center, acting up for the legs, and also for these upper parts that can swivel around for that, and a few clip plates with uh, flat studs to represent eyes in all directions. And then have this spherical piece, bottom part in dark blue and top part in light gray. You can of course take that off and then you have a, a little cylinder piece in trans pink and nice and sparkly. And also quite sparkly for that. Like we have, just like as we've been seeing on like the ghost set last summer, but are uh, still nice to see here in Star Wars sets, but yeah. And of course, Y in pink, maybe to represent it being a control center brain or whatever. And so now, let me get everything together. So now for my overall verdict on this set. This is which a great set. Like you get four whole builds for the small price of thirty dollars, and also like four clone troopers and a whole bunch of battle droids. They get like two battle packs in one. But also this, I would say, is the most best battle pack you can get. Even though you know, it kind of feels almost like the original five hundred first battle pack. Where it was like two builds for thirty dollars. There's when you had this, so which, and of course had the two builds split into four builds, and also costing the same much, but also replaced some bits with the other super battle droids, and of course, so and of course all these builds are what we see multiples of, and also, so great to see the super battle droids return. Hopefully they'll be as much good or at least better than the original original super battle droids but yeah. and of course whereas for the me fake selection which are all army building characters and so this is which great for army building like a battle pack should be like so, and so, I, so overall and for the price point I'm not sure why still three dollars even though the Dark Trooper one and 501st, original 501st ones may have been kind of the same, but at least this would almost as good as both of them. But yeah. And of course, you get more battle droids to army build both clones and battle droids. But yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your Clone Wars and Star Wars collections, then definitely pick this set up. And if you're looking to continue, uh, building your clone armies, then definitely get as many of these as you want. But yeah, and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.